All right. Good morning, everybody. Let's get some charts up here. Let's take a look at the market this morning. Today is Friday. I just have this gut feeling it's going to be a really good day. We're coming in with a nice long position overnight on the US yen. That's looking really, really good. So let's, as we always, let's get started. Take a look at what we're going to be trading this morning. I, I like to put up the uh, put up the symbols here so you can see exactly what we're going to be looking at. As always, we do look at trading the uh, the ES, which is going to be the E-mini S and P 500. We have the uh, RT White is going to be the Mini Russell, YM for the Mini Dow, and NQ for the Mini NASDAQ. Also, on uh, for futures, we're also going to be looking at Gold, GC, SI for Silver, CL for Crude, and NG for Natural Gas, and BTC for Bitcoin. And then on Forex, on the currency pairs, we're going to be looking at Aussie US, Euro US, and US Yen. So once again, the purpose of this uh, video, if you haven't, uh, if you're just joining us and haven't watched prior videos, we are demonstrating our approach to trading. It is different. We don't use indicators. We don't use anything that's publicly available. This was something I developed myself over 30 years ago. It's a unique approach, but it is, it does work and it is effective. And that's the idea here is we want to demonstrate exactly how we trade the markets. Now, when we're looking at the indices and we're looking at the, the, the future contracts or your commodities, I'm going to be using something we call Einstein. Einstein is a mathematical formula in combination with specific patterns that give us an exact entry, a profit target, and, and or reversal. Now, if for some reason we don't hit profit target and we reverse, then it will generate us a new profit target. All right. Reversals happen somewhere around uh, 20, 25 to 30% of the time. So the majority of the time we will be hitting target before we hit reversal. Uh, for the uh, currencies, we're going to be uh, looking at uh, several patterns that we teach in the core package. The core package is really the base for everything that we do. We have five what I call behavioral patterns that I'll be looking for. So once we see a setup, I'll call that out and let you know whether it's a buy or sell. And uh, those trades are a little bit different in the sense that it's more time sensitive in the sense that we hold on no longer than four to five minutes. Where with Einstein, we wait until it either hits target and or hits reversal. All right, so let's get started. The only thing I see coming in now is uh, YM is already in play. That's going to be on your mini down. So let's just look at that real quick. And let's get some targets on that. Once again, YM is going to be your mini Dow. And target on that is going to bring us up to 313.63. So that would be my exit, 313.63. And I'll go ahead and I'll put a line in here. And if we do hit it, we will get an alert. Profit target hit. And that is what you're going to hear, profit target hit. If we don't hit target first, we need to reverse. I'm going to reverse down here at 312.13. 312.13. And if we, for some reason, need to reverse, you will hear this. Reverse sell. So if we're long and we need the reverse, it'll be a short. And of course, if we are short and we need the reverse, you're going to hear the reverse buy. All right. So that gets us set up for the mini Dow. Once again, coming in a little bit late. This came in right before, came in at about 10 minutes before 9. So but I just wanted to show you that uh, that is in play. Uh, let's see here. Nothing on crude. Don't see anything on silver or gold. Looks like gold's already had several plays since early this morning. Nothing right now. No setups. Not seeing anything in the currencies. So we're just going to sit back and we're going to wait here. 
All right, so once again, I don't use indicators. That's why you don't see indicators on my charts. Um, those that use indicators, I have never seen anybody be successful with them because they just, they really don't tell us anything about the market at all. They tell us where the market has been. It doesn't really tell us where the market is going. Uh, and I go into that a lot more in my webinar. And if you'd like to see that video, I believe it's now posted on, the replay is going to be posted on my YouTube channel, Binary Pro Strategies. If not, I think Sarah posted it. If not, I'll make sure she gets that posted. Uh, really good. I go into indicators, what our research has shown regarding the indicators, what we found does work. And I think you're going to find that a pretty enlightening video. The way I look at the market is totally different from anything you've ever been exposed to. That I promise. My techniques are unique. That I promise. All right, the only thing to play right now is going to be on that mini down, which is YM. It's a symbol. Looking for a target of 313.63. Not getting anything on the uh, on the e mini S and P. Not getting anything on RTY or the mini Nasdaq. We do have possible HF, what we call an HF1 or an HF buy coming up possibly on natural gas. Not quite there yet. Waiting to see if this pattern is going to complete itself, and if it does, we'll have a buy on natural gas. Also, we do have a trial room now available. Um, we brought it back, so if you like to kind of try before you buy, what you're going to get is you're going to get, it's cheap, it's $50 a month, and you will get access to um, the charts. And I plot out the patterns on the chart, so you can go ahead and follow though. I give you some instructions on, on how we trade those patterns. And also, you'll be getting our overnight trades that are done extremely well. Using the same patterns, I'm just applying them to daily charts. And the way those work is you put the trade on the night before, and you let it expire the following day. So really good for those that don't have the time that watch the charts, sitting from the charts, or be a short-term trader, or really those that really want to more of a set-and-forget type approach to trading. Uh, it is very effective, so um, you would be getting those as free, free as well with the trial room, as long as you stay in the trial. There is no limit on the trial, so if you need two months, you need three months, that's fine. Uh, we want to make sure that you're comfortable with what we do, and you see that what we do does work. All right, still nothing, nothing at all. Okay, yeah, we are now getting a buy on this natural gas. It did finally complete. So let's get some targets on natural gas. All right, first target is going to be 63.45, 63.45. And that is going to be the profit target. And then we have a pretty little tight stop here, not too bad. Looking at a stop of uh, reversal, which in this case would be 61.95. So if we don't hit that 63.45 and we need the reverse, we're going to be reversing if it comes down to 61.95. 61.95. All 
I you should see the alerts there are plotted them on the screen, so it kind of give you an idea of where we are in terms of whether we're going to hit target or reverse. Morning, John. How's your trading going this morning, John? Good, John. Well done, sir. So once again, we're looking at um, you know 16 different markets here, really to demonstrate that uh, that these patterns are I call them universal in the sense that I can apply them to any market. So it doesn't matter whether it's a commodity, whether it's a stock, which we will be adding here shortly in our services. We will be looking at stocks. When you're using forex, cryptos, if you're a crypto trader. And so the idea here is not to trade every single one of those. We don't recommend that. Find one or two that you like and stick with it. But we're just demonstrating across the board. Uh, I would I never trade more than two at a time. So um, if I'm trading an indice, which I really like, I'm usually trading an indice like RTY with the natural gas, or I'm trading an indice with a gold. But going beyond that, I highly suggest you never trade two indices at the same time. All right, I'm expecting a lower opening on the Dow this morning, so um, let's see here. Yeah, it's probably going to be a quiet opening, I think. Not expecting too much.
So somebody asked where the trigger on the uh, the YM this morning. Remember, it, it came in about 10 minutes before 9 a.m. Uh, let's see here. That entry. That entry came in at 313.13. 313.13. 313, looking for a target of 313.63. Reversal, 312.13. Uh, the other thing you can do on these um, on these targets is a lot of times you're noticing we go over this in our live room is you you'll hit your target and your pullback all right so I really like to enter on those pullbacks or let's say that I buy an actual entry price and I get a pretty significant pullback it gets close to my reversal point I'll put another contract on because those points hold hold a lot, and so now I've averaged, I have a much better average, and my risk is a lot less based on my profit potential. So anyway, uh, we did have some pullbacks on the uh, mini Dow. Reverse sell. Okay, natural gas is reversing going short, so we just reverse now and going short. Okay, target now on that reversal on the natural gas is gonna bring us down to 6145. 6145. That is our new profit target. If we need to reverse, we're going to reverse up here at Okay, short natural gas, still long on the mini Dow.
Okay, looks like we're getting a buy on the Euro US. Euro US as a buy. Let's see where our entry would be. I think it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be 51. Going to get a 51 buy on the Euro US. That is going to be 1.0151. Now remember, this is going to be part of uh, the core patterns. This doesn't have a target. It only holds on to a trade no more than uh, four to five minutes. All right, I, I'm showing the natural gas did hit the 61.45. Alert didn't go off, but it's still short. Still target 61.45. Looks like we did hit that. Still looking to hit target on YM, which is going to be your uh, 313.63. Not seeing anything on the ES or TY, not getting anything on the, the mini NASDAQ. Euro US is still in a long position, gonna hold on for about another two and a half minutes. So already out of natural gas, we hit target. Let me remove these here. Not sure why it didn't alert. Hit target. Right, still on the uh, the mini down target once again 313.63. We're going to be exiting the Euro US here in less than a minute to go. Still on a buy at the 1.0151. Okay, we're out of the Euro US. That was a nice win on the Euro US. So that just leaves us long on the uh, 
the mini down. Possible buy coming in on the mini NASDAQ. Watching ES as well, and R2Y. I am expecting a fairly quiet opening on the uh, the Dow Jones this morning. Looking like it wants to push higher. I just looking at my overall scanner on the uh, stocks. <coughs> Excuse me, kind of a mixed bag this morning. Getting some stocks showing up, getting some stocks showing uh, showing down based on our patterns. So what we're doing is we're doing the same thing with stocks. We do have a scanner built in for the stocks. So we'll search for specific patterns, and uh, and then the display of those stocks that are showing you know a bias or down bias, whatever the case may be. Getting kind of a mixed bag going into this morning, so. Personally, I think the market wants to go a little bit higher in here, so we'll see if that holds true. But once again, I don't base off what I think the market's going to do. We trade off what the market's telling us it wants to do, right? So it's real important when you're trading is uh, don't listen to the news. Stay away from the news. Stay away from distractions because it may uh, influence you making a good trade. Because most of what you hear out there is going to be wrong. Now, if you're good at being a contrarian, then, you know, you hear positive news, you probably want to be a seller. And if you hear negative news, you probably want to be a buyer. It's typically the way it works. That's the way the big boys play it. So that's the institutions know what the public is doing, and they're going to, they're going to just fade you. Now, that's just the way it works. Okay, and I have don't see any setups here in the uh, in the currencies. Dow is now opening up. Take a look and see what the Dow's doing. Dow down twenty three. So yeah, pretty quiet opening. Mm. 
wouldn't be surprised to see a pop to the upside. Looks like uh, Mini Dow is getting closer to hitting target at Dow's down 80. I have a feeling it's gonna it's going to reverse. Morning, Glenn. How are you, buddy? Possible HF2 buy coming in on natural gas. HF2 um, is one of the patterns. We look at several. HF2 is just what we call it, HF2. Any Dow is really trying to get up there and trigger a buy. Okay, we're flat on the currencies. Have nothing on the currencies, though I do like the movement in here. Movement looks strong. May get it well, may get a possible buy on the Aussie US, but we'll see. Still long YM, looking at for the hit 313.63. Mini Nasdaq's getting close to possible buy here. Needs to firm up a little bit more. Get this pattern completed, and that'll put us into a long position. Natural gas just went long, so long down the natural gas. Get a target on that natural gas. Sometimes they all hit at once. It's hard to keep up with everything. So gas is long. Target on this natural gas is going to bring us up to 62.95, and wow. Sixty-two ninety-five. Looks like it already hit target. So it already hit sixty-two ninety-five. Sometimes they happen really quick. If you didn't catch it, you missed it. I think it's going to retest that sixty-two ninety-five. Still on YM. Possible buy coming up on ES. I'll go ahead and put that alert in again on 62.95. I mean, it was within seconds. It, since it triggered that buy, it shot up to that target. 
but I think there's going to be a retest. Okay, NQ just went long. NQ, which is going to be your mini NASDAQ. Target on that is going to bring us up to uh, 120, 82 and a half. And if it doesn't hit target, uh, that uh, mini Nas uh, the mini NASDAQ will reverse at 119.70. All right, still long the mini down. Mini Nasdaq just got triggered into a buy. Natural gas already hit its target pretty quick. I'll put that in there. I think that'll eventually be retested. Getting a buy on the Aussie US. Let's see where that buy's coming in on the Aussie US. Okay, that was a 68, looks like a 68.39, 68.39. Not much premium in there right now, I'll let that go. Anyway, that, that already triggered, I couldn't catch it fast enough. All right, still long uh, mini Dow, still long mini NASDAQ. Crude is getting a short, just got triggered on short, crude. Target on crude, looking at a low of, uh, let's see here, 103.65. This is why you don't want to try to trade these all at once. It's just it can get overwhelming just to keep up with them. All right, 103.65 target on crude. And it would reverse crude if we don't hit target at Alright, so still long the mini Dow, still long the mini NASDAQ, and now short crude. Aussie US still on a buy, it's got exit here in about two minutes. Got to call that out a little bit too late, couldn't get it, wasn't watching it at the time, but it did trigger a buy. Let's see, where did it open up? It opened at uh, around 41 and a half, close to 41 and a half with the That was a 39 buy on that. Looks like ES is getting close. Uh, the SP 500 is getting close to uh, trigger a buy.
Okay, ES trigger to buy. I'm going to buy on the SP 500. Target on that uh, mini SP is going to be going to bring us all the way up to 3909 and a half. That is going to be the profit target. When we hit target, we exit the trade. Reversal is going to be 38.72.25. Profit target hit. Profit target hit. Okay, we did hit target on the mini Dow. Also hit target on the mini NASDAQ. Still long ES, possible buy coming up on RTY, which is going to be your mini Russell. Still short crew looking at a target of Okay, hey, just got triggered on RTY. RTY is now a buy. Which is going to be your mini Russell. Target on RTY is going to bring you up to 1774. So that's going to be our profit target on this long uh, mini Russell, 1774. If we don't hit target, need the reverse. I'll reverse down here at Okay, so now we're long ES, which is your mini S&P. We're long the mini Russell, or TY. Short crude. That's it, flat. On everything else, don't see anything on gold, silver. Nothing on natural gas. Nothing on the... Don't see anything on the US Yen. Don't see anything on the Euro US.
still short crew, long RTY, long ES. Dow's up nine. So it did come back. Still think it's going to be an updated day. It's, it's kind of what it's looking like. It looks like it came in early. A lot. It looks like a lot of public came in and sold it. Crude slowly approaching target of 103.65. Hopefully my verbal alert will work today. It's been hitting, but the verbals haven't been going off for some reason. Possible HF2 short coming in on the natural gas. Going to watch that. Profit target hit. All right, target hit on the crude oil. Possible double buy coming up in the Aussie US. See those uh, those little green triangles when you get two of them next together. Tend to be a really nice trade. I'm more short buy, so I really like them up more on the short side, but uh, that's also a real strong pattern, those doubles. So we'll see if that holds and that'll put us into a buy on the Aussie US. Doesn't look like it's going to hold. Looks like it's going to reverse. So that would wipe out the possible buy. Let's see if it. Uh, let's just, just see how it prints out here. Watching for a uh, mini Dow possible HF2 short coming in. Possible short coming in. HF2 short on the. Uh, the mini NASDAQ, still long ES, still long RTY, possible reversal on RTY. Reverse sell. Okay, reverse short on RTY. RTY is going short. Again, HF2 short on the YM. Mini Dow is going short on a HF2 short. Let's get a target on RTY. Uh, puts our target down on R2Y down to uh, 1754. 
we don't hit target uh, we will reverse on this uh, RTY which is gonna be your mini Russell yeah, I think we're getting ready to hit target here profit target hit never mind about the reverse I'll already hit target on uh, on that uh, mini Russell YM couldn't call it fast enough already reverse on an H step two short uh, the uh, mini NASDAQ already reversed on ASAP 2 short. I'll give you that target on that uh, mini NASDAQ. Mini NASDAQ's target going to bring you down to 119.70. 119.70. That is going to be the profit target. And let me give you a target on YM because YM is getting close. YM, once again, is going to be your mini Dow. Target on the mini Dow is going to bring you down to 312.13. Still along the ES. Natural gas just went short. HF2 short. Natural gas. Target on that natural gas. Going to bring you down to 6145. 6145. Reversal, 62.95. All right, YM approaching target. Uh, mini NASDAQ approaching target. Still long ES, possible reversal coming on the ES. Get some reversals on here. So anyway, we're short the uh, the mini Nasdaq target 119.70 reversal on this. If we don't hit target, it's going to be uh, 120 82 and a half. Target on uh, the mini Dow is going to be three twelve thirteen. I'll give you a reversal. Reversal will be uh, three thirteen sixty three. So we're short the uh, the mini Nasdaq, short the mini Dow. <coughs> Excuse me. RTY already hit target. ES still long, possible reversal coming on ES. We'll watch that. Still short natural gas target six one four five target on natural gas.
profit target hit. Okay, target hit on the mini down. Still short mini NASDAQ, target of 119.70. Still short natural gas, 6145 target, profit target. Still long ES, will reverse at uh, 3872.25. Remember, once again, these are not specific months. We're looking at basically an average of the overall market. So, but the entries are you just, if you're trading a future contract, you enter the future whenever you get triggered, and then you exit whatever month you're trading. So prices are going to be different. But once again, we're trading off sort of an average. It's called slash ES or slash RTY. And they do that so you can go back historically. It basically combines the months together. So it's a nice roll, smooth rollover. So the prices may not be exactly what you're seeing. But um, the idea is not so much that as if it triggers on the slash ES and it's an automatic short on whatever month you're trading on the, uh, on the future contract. All right, I'm still seeing if I can hit target here on natural gas of 6145. I mean, NASDAQ still short, still long on the ES. He is kind of holding in there, kind of a lagger here. It looks like it makes catch up here, maybe go short. Yeah, Glenn, I don't know about a full basis point. It could. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know if it. Ex I don't know if it would raise it that much. All right, so we're coming up on the top of the hour. <clears throat> once again, if you <clears throat> excuse me, once again, if you like to learn more about my strategies, go to my website or go to my website binarypostrategies.com or my YouTube channel. Plenty of educational material out there at Binary Pro Strategies. Thanks again if you're joining us on YouTube and Facebook. Don't hesitate to ask questions. Please join us again on Monday. We do this Monday through Friday every morning. First hour is free. And then we continue on with our students. And so just going to leave you here with still long an ES, still short a mini NASDAQ, and still short a natural gas. All right, everybody have a good, safe weekend. We'll see you first thing Monday morning. Y'all take care.